Happy New Comic Book Day. Hey, I went to uh, a new comic book shop here in Florida, Coliseum of Comics. So, let's check out what I picked up. First, of course, as always, please like, comment, subscribe, all of that good stuff. Definitely appreciate it, and it goes a long way. So if you, if you like what I'm doing, please don't hesitate. Now let's move on. So, as I said, it is New Comic Book Day. It is Wednesday. So, I'm still in Florida. I'm down here in uh, Orlando. And, you know, I, I can't make it to Heroes. So, I have to find ones to go down here. Now, I went to Gods and Monsters previously as you've seen in my previous video. Now, this time around, I went to Coliseum of Comics. And they have different locations. Um, and I went to the Millennia, I believe. Millennia location, I think it is. I might be wrong on pronouncing that, but I guess it's the area. Um, but that's, that's, the, that's the location I went to. And I gotta say, man, I was highly, highly impressed with this store. I mean, Coliseum of Comics is a very fitting name, in my opinion. I mean, the, the, the amount of back issues that they have, I mean, and, I mean, they just got rows and rows and rows of back issues. And I like how they organize it. They organize it by DC, Indie, Marvel, um, and then they even have a whole section of back issues uh, from 1980s or older. And not to mention, you know, all of the comics and stuff that they have on the walls. I mean, it's just insane, man. I, I absolutely love the store. I absolutely love the store. And I think uh, the day, when the day comes... Uh, I could possibly make this my LCS if I, you know, the day comes when uh, we do plan on moving down here. So we shall see. Uh, they also have a ton of like, well, not a ton. I wouldn't say. It. Let me rephrase that because it's a very comic book centered store. But they also have a little bit of statues and game games like Magic the Gathering and Dungeons and Dragons and things like that. They have a little bit of that stuff. But for the most part, it's comic centered. And uh, they even have like old, old, expensive comics. I mean, I had the first appearance of the Punisher on uh, the Amazing Spider Man cover $3,000. I mean, it was, I, I wish, I wish. That's why I'm thankful for facsimiles. <laughs> but anyway. Highly, highly recommend going to this store, checking it out. Um, I only been to the one location. Uh, so, hey, I, I definitely would assume all locations are pretty similar. Uh, because, like I said, it, it seems like it's a, a chain fr franchise or something. Um, which, it's something I'm not necessarily used to. Um, but... Yeah, nonetheless, I absolutely love Coliseum of Comics in Orlando, Florida. So definitely check it out. Definitely check it out. Now let's get on to the hall. Now, I'm still in Orlando, like I said. So that means I am not picking up anything that is on my pull list at Heroes. As a matter of fact, I haven't really picked up anything new. Uh basically going through back issues. So let's just get on with it. Let's just get on with it. So I'm looking through the back issues and I'm looking, looking at the X-Men stuff. So I come up, I come across a few uh, X-Men books. All three of these are from the Executioner's song. So part one, which is the Uncanny X-Men 294, and it's still in the poly bag and it still has the card that comes with it. So yeah, so you know, this is part one of uh, Executioner Song. 
And then uh, part five of the un Executioner song uh, right here. This is part five. Also in the poly bag still with the card, which is awesome. Uh, now, both of these are the Uncanny X-Men, and that's issue 294, and this is two, issue 295, so pretty awesome. Now, this one is not the Uncanny X-Men, but it's just X-Men, uh, and this is part three of Executioner Song, but X-Men issue 14. I love this cover. To me, these are the classic. I know they're not the original. I know. Don't slay, slay me. But to me, these are these are the X-Men I grew up with. So to have every, you know, like just about everyone on the cover, I was like, yeah, I love this cover. So, and it's going along with the Executioner song uh, with the other two books. So this is part three of that story. So I, I good pickups, I think. Uh, and also, I don't know if you guys remember, but uh, my wife went to Brazil earlier on Was it this year or last year. She brought back some comics from Brazil for me. And one of them, the ones that she brought back was a cable, uh, I mean, a, a Deadpool uh, comic. Now, this is that same comic, but obviously in English. So cable, cable and Deadpool, this is an annual. Um, but the Brazilian version only just says cable. I mean, uh, Deadpool. It just says Deadpool on it, and it doesn't. It don't even say, mention annual. So, I thought it'd be cool put this side by side. So I picked that up, and then this was a really. I, I like this one for the cover for the most part, but uh, the Amazing Spider-Man issue three eighty eight special double sized issue. Yeah, that's a that's a cool cover. This is a Mark Bagley. Yeah, pretty cool. So, yeah, pick that up. Not a bad little, you know, nothing crazy expensive or nothing like that. But then what I also liked is they have these grab bags. Now, there's 10 comic books in these grab bags. And there are four Marvel, four DC, and two Indie. In every grab uh, grab bag, so you know that's the Superman Unchained issue number one because that's you know Scott St uh, Scott Snyder and Jim Lee, um, and then on the back that's one of the Marvel books. So you got Drax number one. Uh, yeah. So beyond that, I don't know. I have no idea what's in here. I have not opened this up. Uh, so of course we're about to do that now. So I've actually been anticipating this and they tight they, they tape this thing pretty good but uh eight bucks the little paper right here the yellow paper right there says it's at least a forty dollar value uh in this in this bag which i believe it because that superman book is a five dollar cover price 4.99 and i paid eight dollars for this whole thing so let's see what I got. So I guess we're going to do Marvel first. All right. So Drax number one, of course. And all right. So Falcon issue one, Falcon take flight. All right. Avengers versus X-Men. Okay. Is this? All right. Avengers versus X Men. I don't know what what part of this is. I don't know. Oh, it says round five. There you go. So that, and then a little little bit of an older one, Cloak and Dagger issue nine. Okay, I like some good old vintage. And then uh, I guess these are the two indie books. So. From Image, I've never heard of this. Wet Works Power Surge, Wet Works, um, issue twenty nine. So, oh, okay. 
have to check that out. And the first, uh, issue six from Cross Gen Comics. All right, and not familiar with that, but all right. So let's get on to the DC. So of course we know the Superman Unchained uh, issue one with Scott Snyder and Jim Lee. So that's that's a good that's a good deal. Yep. And then we got Wonder Woman uh, from the DC Universe Rebirth. Uh, this is issue nine. All right. And the Justice League also from the Re DC Rebirth. This is issue fourteen. And the Legion of Superheroes, a little bit of an old school kind of book. Uh, the Legion of Superheroes, issue 22 from September 1991, The Quiet Darkness, part two. Yep. And man, this is wild right here, the back of it. <laughs> I actually remember this movie. I actually remember this movie. Double impact. Ugh, man. So there you go. So that is my pack my grab bag if you will from coliseum of comics not bad i, I think i would actually pick up a f I put, pick up more of those in the future uh some good stuff some stuff i've never heard of but pretty good though so anyway coliseum of comics you've been good to me not gonna lie i've enjoyed the store i i i've enjoyed what i picked up here so that being said, I might have to make another stop there just because for uh, before I head back home. So, yeah. So that's my haul on this uh, new comic book day. Yeah, let me know what you guys picked up. And, uh, of course, let me know what you think of what I picked up. And, um, yeah, I'm going to catch you guys in the next one.